Hi guys, got another Bible review here. This one is for the Hardcore Southern Baptist Large Print Ultra Thin Reference Bible by Holman. Hardcore Southern Baptist. Actually, I'm kidding. Um, it's actually the Holman Christian Standard Bible. And this is the Large Print Ultra Thin in cowhide. It retails for $59.99. Of course, you guys know me. I didn't pay retail for it at all. Uh, actually, uh, Christian Book Distributors, ChristianBook.com, just had a blowout sale. And they had these things uh, on sale for $15. Bucks, and I thought, man, I got ripped off because I, uh, I ended up paying $20 for mine but then I figured oh wait a minute after you, you pay for shipping and handling then you know it, it even out the same so I got this for 20 bucks and I love it this one is uh, in brown cowhide this is soft and supple and it is kind of spongy feeling um, to the touch. Um, very nice and soft. It is a paste down, unfortunately. But they do have hubs on this, which is so nice. Check out the quality that you'll see on this. Um, just tremendous. Now, why did I get HCSB? You guys know I love my King James. And this is thick. Wow. Um, why did I get HCSB? Well, number one, I'm going to a church that is Southern Baptist Convention, and the pastor, he is a Southern Baptist. And, hold on, I'm responding to a message while we're talking. He prefers the HCSB. Now, here's the thing. Uh... He prefers the HCSB. He just took over the church I'm going to. He is their first pastor, not just their, not just a new pastor. So he's been a pastor for years at other churches. Now he's going to be this church's first pastor. Um, anyway. Sorry, I have to text and record at the same time. Okay. Anywho. Alright. So, the leather on this. Very soft. Very supple. And feels just amazing in the hands. The only downfall to this that I've seen is that it is a paste down. If it was lined to the edge, because it's got this heavy, like vinyl covered paper liner like oh man if this would have been lined to the edge in leather or even like another type of polyurethane or vinyl it would have been so much better like honestly that is the only place where Holman went wrong with this and it probably would have added like five bucks ten bucks to the price if that much honestly it, it comes with a single ribbon marker brown course and let's go ahead and get into this I've already put my name in here because this is gonna stay mine certificate of marriage and this is like cardstock and it's it's matte finished cardstock let me see if I can get this to brighten up a little bit for you guys um, no there we go okay it's got like a matte finish to the cardstock which is rather nice. I like it. Makes it easier for writing. Marriages, occasions to remember, Holy Bible, uh, Holman Christian Standard Bible, and here's all the different editions it comes in. Like I said, this is the large print ultra thin uh, reference Bible, and this one, the type set was done by 2K... Denmark, proofreading by Peachtree Editorial Services, Peachtree City, Georgia. Here's your ISBNs for all the different uh, 
editions of this. And uh, now if I'd have got the black genuine leather cowhide legacy edition, that that is probably um, leather lined. But here you see we have the thing, uh, the table of contents. Sorry, I was just reading a message here on Messenger. This is just awesome. Um, the way this is printed, and there you have bullet notes, HCSB concordance, commonly used abbreviations, HCSB introduction, God's plan for salvation. Boom. There is God's plan for salvation. There is your introduction to the Holman Christian Standard Bible. And it does make use of bullet points and stuff like that. I'll try to hold this so you guys can pause it and read it. Alrighty. So now you can actually check out what the goals were. Because I always say it's important that since we're reading a translation, we should read the preface. That way we can see exactly what the translators were trying to communicate. That is how you figure that out. Pretty cool. I have noticed in this it makes use of the name Yahweh quite often in this, which I love, especially when I'm dealing with Jehovah's Witnesses. That is just awesome. Some translations in this, I think they really screwed up. I think they could have said things a lot better than what they did. Um, but, yeah. Some abbreviations there. All right, now we'll get right into the text. Uh, and there you go. Just like my KJVs, it does not have chapter and verse reference in the center column. It has the little letters that you have to go by. So if I was reading here, I would see verse 7 and the letter F. I'd have to go here to letter F. And I, I kind of hate that because the... the Reference letters are so small, and they're not bold. Of course, if it was bold, it would match up with the text, and that would not be good. But this is a 2K Denmark text, and looking right here, you can see this is not line matched. That is the one thing I, I will say here in the book of Esther. You can look. It is not line matched. You can see that. You can probably see it better on the camera than I can in real life. Actually, no, you can't. Wow, that's amazing to me. Uh, anyway, this is red letter edition. So let's get in the New Testament. There we go. Red letter, that classic uh, dark crimson or burgundy that uh, Holman uses. Of course, it shows up just plain red on my camera but it's actually more of a crimson and I really like it um, of course there is translation notes and stuff like that at the bottom um, stuff from the, the center column runoff kinda goes into the bottom um, and there's a whole section in the back let me see if I can find it here I think it's in the back where, where it has like a That's not it. That's not it. Where am I? Petro. Okay, here's the bullet notes. So whenever you see a bullet point, like a big bold circle, that's what they call a bullet. Whenever you see that, that means you can go to the back and find a glossary of terms, like Alpha and Omega would have a bullet point next to it, and here it tells you what that meant. So it helps you understand the Bible a little better. And that's just tremendous. Just great. Um, I like that. And of course in the Old, uh, in the New Testament whenever they're quoting from the Old Testament uh, it's in big bold letters and then you can also find the center column reference where it's coming from and 
that is just great. Um, the paper is not a cream colored, amazingly. It has that same blue U in the gutter showing that this paper is actually ultra white. And I'm sure as I use this, it will darken up. And you can see there's my brown ribbon marker. Um, but yeah, what can I say? It is an ultra thin. I do love that they took the time to put these uh, ribs on the spine. Because that will give it a couple extra years of service. Um, I just wish it wasn't a paste down liner. That's really, for what Holman is producing now, that is the only thing I would say Holman actually needs to step up on. If you're already doing stitched perimeter stitching on some Bibles, just go ahead and do liners. Like get a, a vinyl liner similar to this vinyl covered cardstock. Just get a thin piece of vinyl and just do a vinyl um, liner and have it edge lined. And you can see here where the mesh on the spine attaches the book block to the cover instead of having a piece of vinyl that is perimeter stitched and glued that comes down here um, and where the liner would come off the off of the the cover and act, actually attach directly onto the block that would be so much more secure but anyway this is still going to be good for 20 30 years worth of service um, anyway I didn't tell my pastor this yet um, I don't know if he knows or not. The HCSB, which he loves and cherishes, the HCSB is now going out of print. I think 2016 was the last year they printed them, and I think now they're just trying to liquidate what they have in stock. Um, so you can pick up HCSBs real cheap if you like the HCSB translation. Uh, other than that, uh, it's not going to be totally gone they are going they've already replaced it with the CSB Christian Standard Bible so the HCSB Holman Christian Standard Bible aka hardcore Southern Baptist Bible is now replaced with the CSB Christian Standard Bible so yeah but this is just amazing feeling and I saw that uh, Eric 1111 he got a giant print uh, edition for like 10 or 20 bucks on Christian book distributors. And I went and they had a big blowout sale going on. And by the time you guys see this, it's over. I think it's already over anyway. But yeah, I went ahead and picked up an HCSB. This is what my pastor uses. And uh, this way I can follow along with him when he's teaching, when he's preaching. Um, it'll make it a little easier for me and you know this new pastor he's facing a lot of challenges with this church and with me being in ministry I know a lot of those challenges so I'm trying to really come up beside him and encourage him and strengthen him and, and be a blessing to his ministry so yeah he's got a great family great wife and I don't know. I'm not a fan of the HCSB. I saw some places where the translation just totally missed it. But all in all, I, I, I can get along with this pretty well. The thing that sold me on this is just the quality of the leather. I mean, it smells like leather. This is so soft and so supple. It's it's insane. They, I think that, that vinyl cardstock liner ruined it. I really do. Um... Yeah, but anyway, mark down from 60 down to 15 20 bucks. Well worth it. You can still find these on Amazon. So, anyway, guys, this is Chad. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this does have a Smithsone binding. This does have a sewn binding to it. If I can find it here. Is that it? No. No, that's not it. Yeah. Anyway, this does have a sewn binding. You can see here how the pages kind of stagger, and you can see the, see how the signatures are divided up. So anyway, guys, this is Chad. Hope you enjoyed this review. Questions or comments, drop them down there. Till next time, God bless. 
I love you and have a great day. Bye.